Hello everyone, Danny here today with a change of pace. Now, my videos have been an audiobook series that I listened to and completed when, when I was not producing videos in that gap I had there. I just finished a new book though, and I'm too excited about it to wait and put it at the end of this. So I'm going to interrupt my catch-up videos to put this video out there. And this is, this is one book. There's three books in this series, so I'm going to be going back to my old style of talking about each book by itself. The book I'm so excited about is Sins of Empire, written by Brian McClellan and narrated by Christian Rotska. This is an amazing book. Now, it's very obviously, as the story goes along, it's very obviously not the first book involving these characters. You've got some main characters, and you've got several. It, it follows a couple of different storylines. They all intermesh. They, they all blend. It's not the slightest bit difficult to follow. You've got my favorite character in the book, Mad Ben Stikes, captain of the Mad Lancers. And, and I've got to go back and listen. So this is the Gods of Blood and Powder series. The, the first series involving these characters, I went back and I looked it up, it's called the Powder Mage series. So when I'm done with these series, I'm going to go back and listen to the Powder Mage series. So I'm going to do it out of order. But the, Mad Ben Stikes played an important role in, in the, the Powder Mage series. There, there was a, a war there. And there's Flint, who's this, this now she, she was a general back then. And now she's a commander of a group of mercenaries. There's Taniel Two-Shot. I mean, how cool in names are these? Mad Ben Sykes. Taniel Two-Shot. Flint. Flint's a powder mage. Taniel Two-Shot's a powder mage who's evolved into something else. You, you don't really know what it is. I think because this is the second series, they don't spend as much time explaining the magic. And the, the powder mages, their magic is very apparent. Their magic is very easy to understand. They, they work off of gunpowder. So they sniff it. They, they, they swallow it. They can make it explode. They can make it not explode, you know, by, by inhaling it or swallowing it. It, it ups their power. And then they control it around them kind of a thing. You, you've got blood mages like Carpola. Car, I think her name is Carpola. I'm pretty sure her name is Carpola. Carpola is a blood mage. And, and you don't see her drinking blood or sniffing blood. At least they haven't had her do that in this first book yet. But obviously her power has to do with blood. Not really sure what her power is or what she can do by the end of this book. But whatever it is. It terrifies people. And then you have the privileged. I have no clue by the end of this book what the privileged are, what they can do. But there's something that, that everyone is afraid of and, and they're very powerful humans who... How their magic is different, I don't know. I got a feeling in the first series all of that gets explained and then it doesn't by this series because you're supposed to listen to the first series first, second series second... Hey, I got into it out of order. There's some great battle scenes in this book. There's wonderful intrigue. So in the beginning of the book, you've got Mikhail, you've got Sykes, you've got Flint. Daniel Two-Shot is a myth at this point in time. And they all seem to be working for the bad guys. Except for Sykes. Sykes is not working for the bad guys. But but Flint and Mikhail, they're working for the bad guys, but they're good guys. And you like them. And you're rooting for them. And you're assuming that sooner or later, they're going to figure out they're working for the bad guys and they're going to stop working for the bad guys, right? Kind of yes, kind of no. That's what happens when one of them and then the other one turns out to be something else. And I don't want to give anything away on the book. But suffice it to say, 
by the end of the book, you've got some lines drawn, but by the end of the book, there's a new enemy introduced. And you really aren't sure who you're supposed to be rooting for as far as like government types go. You know, you're rooting for Mad Ben Sykes. You're, you're rooting for Flint. You're rooting for Mikhail. They're, they're the good guys. You're rooting for them. You know that. There are moments in this book that just had me going, oh, yeah. There are moments in this book that had me going, uh, wait a minute. What just happened? Uh, he can't die. He's dead. How can how can that be? He's he's he can't lose. That that person doesn't. Lo he's not supposed to lose. He's a character in this book that doesn't lose. How can he lose? How how can he get captured and now he's going to die? You can't kill off this main character. Well, and then things happen. There there are secrets that are revealed that I imagine if I had listened to the first series, it wouldn't have been such big secrets, but I didn't listen to the first series. So for me, they were quite big secrets. Language, it, they swear, but they don't swear in English. So in, instead of the F word, they say pit all the time. So they, 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 they have their own swear words that are thrown in. Would have been fine to listen to it. My boys would have loved this book. In fact, I would have definitely listened to this book around my boys. They would have absolutely loved this book. Um, there's not been any sexual stuff, anything like that with it. The narrator, and I, I got his name correct. It is Christian Rodska. And I went back and I re-listened to the introduction to the book where they named the, the the author and the narrator to make sure I pronounce his name. That's why you'll go, you'll notice in this this book, I'm used to always be like, I hope I pronounced that correct. No. I, I learned. I went back and I listened. So I made sure that I pronounced it the way they pronounce it in the audio book. He does an amazing job. I love him as a narrator. He does accents. He does voices. He does all kinds of different stuff. He has excitement to his voice when he's supposed to have excitement. He has fear and trepidation in his voice when he's supposed to have fear and trepidation. I mean, he's a really good narrator. Who I hadn't heard of before this book series. Ooh, this narrator's good. I like that this narrator. And I am excited about this book series. Now, it's a longer book. The All of these books that I've looked up on the, on the Gods of Blood and Powder, they're all 20 plus hours. And these are audio books, so I don't know how many pages that is, but they're 20 plus hours. So for those of you who like a longer book and a longer book series, that, that grabs you and keeps you and holds you through the whole thing, this is definitely a book series for you. This is a great book series. Um, I had one more thing I was going to say and it completely slipped my mind. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe, turn on notifications. But most importantly, no matter what else you do today, make sure that today you listen to one really good audiobook. And oh boy, do I ever recommend Sins of Empire. Brian McClellan.